It's simple. Integrity. Integrity. Hallelujah. Integrity. Integrity. Amen. Amen. Integrity, the word integrity, just word, to give a background. The word integrity as I said. It is derived from a Latin word. It is geschreven in the Latin word. Integer. Integer. And it means complete. And it betekent. It means whole. For mark. Yeah. Inside and outside should be one. Bellekant and Bellekant would you are yes, complete yes. within and without. Yeah, mood, uh, yell, mood, Inside and, and outside. Bede. So integrity is derived from that word. So integrity that from that word. And the person that is characterized with with uh, with integrity. A person that is characterized with the word integrity is called the integrus. Word genoemd. Or do we say integrus? Integrus of yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see what the Bible says about integrity. Come speak what the Bible says about the integrity. Titus. Chapter 2, verse 7. My versions are taken out of the Amplified Bible. And in all things, show yourself to be an example of good works. The works that you do, you must show yourself as an example. For so anyone that is around you, you must lead an exemplary life. Your deeds that you are doing should be of, an, uh, of someone who is setting an example. When someone looks unto you, they must see and he must be able to desire the good that you are doing. The good works that you are doing. Not what you are saying. But what you are doing. So we as Christians. We as believers. Should show ourselves. As an example. Of good works. With purity in doctrine. What we speak. Should be something. It must be a doctrine. It must be a teaching that is coming from within that is sound. A sound doctrine. A sound doctrine should come forth from us. Hallelujah. I like this part. It says, having the strictest regard for integrity. And truth. Hallelujah. Amen. You must have the strictest. You must be very strict yeah, by a when it is. comes to integrity. It, be integrity. it is something that is highly regarded. It is it Your by integrity. Yes. integrity. Where who you are. Where, uh, who, where you, is. It, you must be strict on integrity. Yeah, Hallelujah. And truth. And the That is what Titus says. That's what Titus says. Now let's see. What is integrity? What is integrity then? Integrity is integrity who is. you are when no one else is looking at you. That is VA is Vanir Nimat Nayo to take off. Hallelujah. Vanir alien. It is who you are when no one else is looking at you. That is VA is Vanir. The person behind the mask. The person after the scarabs. Hallelujah. When you are alone in your room, you alone knows yourself. You are the only one who knows your heart. So you, the one, that person that is inside, that is the honesty, the truth that comes out from you. That is integrity. Is integrity. We are not talking about character or how character. people see you. Of who we are not talking you. about what you are wearing or how you, you look or how others define you based on what you have. 
Or based on your education. Or no, it is the core of, of your inner being. That is integrity. The core of who you are inside. That is integrity. The, 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 the trait of sticking to your ethics and to your morals. The, 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 money who ye the morals that you have set person. for yourself. The, the ethics that, 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 that you have set for yourself. The ethics that you for yourself to set it. No, the, the ethics. The standard. Are the principles that governs your behavior. Behaves around you. others. Those are the ethics. That is the, uh, the, the ethics. What rules your behavior? What you behave the you standards that you have around. set for yourself. The standard that you of how you standard. will behave around others. Or who you Those are, are your, your ethics. It is the ethics. Hallelujah. Amen. And the morals. And the morale, are the principles of what is right and what is wrong. It is the real spot, but for curious and So it depends on what your ethics and your morals are. So they hang up for you. The ethics. ones that we start off at home. The, the, word that was the ones that our parents are teaching us. The, the, word that was the simple things. Good morning, my mother. Good morning, Good morning father. Good morning, father. Thank you very much. Can I please have your book? Can I as a believe your book great? Hallelujah. The ethics and morals. The, the ethics those and morals. comes from within. But, it's but not something Afro, that is outside. Is it what can is. You can pretend as much as you want. They can but your, your integrity is who you are. Is what you is. Hallelujah. Your outer world. You Reflect what is inside of you. Reflect here what in you is. The things that you do, the, the way you do, that you behave, the money who you reflects what is inside of you. Reflect here what Bella and you is. Because what is inside so what Bella is. comes out it come it. in an unexpected way. <laughs> you can pretend money. for how long, it be a long but eventually but it, the leg, it will come to show. That's how it come Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Integrity, integrity is the foundation, is the foundation upon which you build your outer life. It's the, it's the foundation that you build within. That is the foundation that you build in. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On which you build your outer life. Because only if you have integrity, will you be able to work in integrity? So that is what integrity is. It is who you are from inside. You may think that the others do not see us. We will not see you. But we tend to forget that there is the God above who knows the heart of everyone, who knows the intent of everyone, and who sees everything. And he has alles Amen. Through the mirror, the mirror, through the marrow of your bones. So your integrity, so your integrity is who you are. Not what you portray, not what you portray yourself to be. It is who you are inside. It is time that we start working on our integrity. It is time that we go back to and set standards on our morals and ethics. Hallelujah. For so long we have been, we have started following the patterns of this world. We started compromising. That is where we start losing integrity. Because I believe our parents, when they raised us up, they taught us these simple things. The ethics. They taught us these simple things. When you meet an elder, you meet an elder in a, in a good way. Nowadays, children, they will greet their elders, hello. Hi. 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 Hello. What is that? What is that? And that is, I, I don't believe that any parent 
It's teaching his child at home like that. It's time that we go back to that basics. And start teaching our kids. And even I know as as we are growing up, as as we go along, we tend to start compromising on this uh, integrity. On this core, we start eroding. Yeah. We start eroding from this integrity os, os, uh, by making compromises. Dear, um, uh, compromise them, um, some this by spiel. making compromises. Yeah, um, some this time, um, some this oh, just because she's my friend, yeah, um, that's it. I it's will it. let it go. Ah. Exa- exa- but exa- you hand. know in your heart but you that it your is heart. wrong. But, it is but just here. because I am your friend, um, that your friend is. you say, they say, I will make an exception. Exactly. Uh, and little by little, and you are eroding from your integrity. So claim for claim, for, uh, Just for a little white line. You so are eroding from your integrity. They can't bear from your integrity. Later on, you find yourself Let us say you prefer someone without integrity. Even Just integrity. because she did this to me, I will not even greet her. You are doing it intentionally. But not knowing. That is taking away from your integrity, that you from the core, from, from the foundation from that is within. Bases of the foundation. Later on, when this foundation is unstable, Later you become the an unstable person. And you have your own stable person. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We believers. Us believers. We live by a standard that we decide upon. Ons leren op een standaard en als een gelovige. We have a standard. Ons heeft een standaard. Upon which we live. Waarop ons leren. And that is the word of God. En dit is het woord van God. And that is to obey God's commandments. En dit is op Gods woord of Gods geboden de gehoorzaam. And to keep His statutes and ordinances. En om zijn ordinaties te hou, we hou. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the standard upon which we as believers should live. It is the standard upon, upon the word of God. Op the word van God. Obeying the commandments of God. Gehoorzaam die geboeien van God. Keeping the ordinances of God. Hou be, hou die the way we talk to each other even in die, the church of God. Die manier hoe ons met mekaar praat ook in die kerk van God. Just because I am a pastor. Omdat ek a pastoor is. Doesn't make me. Mag me nie. High above my mother. Whoa, she still whoa, remains my mother. My mother. We still have that ordinances. As much as she respect me as a pastor, I still have to respect her as my mother. That is the ordinance of God. You, no matter who, who uh, what your uh, what um uh, who the mother is. No matter the elder that is in the church, when the elder speaks to you, the ordinance of God is. You listen, you don't pull your face. Even if you think you are right, you keep quiet. Even at your houses, even at schools, you keep quiet. That is an ethic that we were taught. You keep quiet even if you know you are wrong. That is the ordinance of God. There is the ordinance of God. But this age is telling us Vertel ons that we the parents that ons ouders should also listen to the kids. Ons moet ook it's right. We it's can right. listen to them. Ons kan na hulle luister, ja. But a parent is a parent. Maar ouer is a ouer. A pa is a pa. Ma is a ma. Yes, your mother. Ja, your mother. May be illiterate. Uh, ongeleerd. Your mother may not have went to school. Your mother is not going to school. But she made sure. Maar zij mag zeker. That you go to school. That you go to school. And get education. That you. Of the degree, yeah. With that, with that lineage that she has, and now he... that you have made it, now that you have got that now education, that market, you think that you know better than your mother. Thank you, yes, Peter, as your mother. You have it missed. Yes, that is it. not the ordinance of yes, God. The ordinance is for God. You should respect your mother and yes, your father. Your mother and if you want a long respect. life, that, that is what the word, that word of God says. That's what the word of God says. No matter how wrong your mother is, there are ways to address her. The manner how you are addressing her, Hallelujah. Amen. And that is. And that is. The ethics and morals. That is the ethics and morals. And that is the standard. And that is the standard upon which we live by. Yes. 
Waarom ons leven? As Christians. As Christenen. And the faith that you are coming to church. And the faith that you come to church. The faith that you have a mother that is praying. The faith that you have a father that is praying. The faith that you have a father that is praying. Ah, pa wat bed. Makes you to be under a covering. Makes you that you only. Don't forget that. Skadi wees. So it is not in vain that you are coming to church. That you not care. That you are safe until now. That you are ready to know. Hallelujah. And that is the same with us. It is the self that made us. With our Father. Made us a Father. Be it our heavenly Father. Made it us a Be it our our mentor. Made it us a mentor. It is the same with all of us. It is the self that made us. Sometimes we tend to know a lot. Sometimes. Ken ons baie. And when he tried to speak, and when he began to pray, just because I also start hearing from the Holy Spirit, so that from the Holy Spirit's word, I start opening my mouth. Then I know too much. Then I know too much. So it's not only for the for the kids; it's also for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because. Our spiritual fathers. It doesn't matter from which church he is. He can be a pastor at a Lutheran church. But the ordinance of God says, you do not speak against the, the, the anointed one of God. You do not speak against the one that has been anointed by God. Hallelujah. No matter what he does, you do not look upon that. That has nothing to do with you. Next, with you, they do this. He will give account to God. On some regular scope, he answers. For you is to listen to what he has to say. You must listen to what he has to say. Then you will go back and you verify and you take what is in line with the word of God. In fact, but in line is the word of God. It is not for you to go and judge anyone. He is the dar on the hand and the hand. A man of God still remains a man of God. He still remains a father, a father figure. He is a mother, a father figure. Because God always, God uses who He wants to use. God gebruik wie hij wil. And when God chooses someone, in wanneer God iemand kiest, it does not mean that that person is perfect. But it's because God wants to use what is within that person. But what God brings out of us, to help 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 us, That has nothing to do with us. That's it. Also, problem. What we are to do is to pray for that man of God, to pray for that woman of God, to pray for your sister. Um, for your sister, the best. Not for us to judge. Ni for us on the word daily. That is integrity. That is integrity. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us look at the standards. Come on, speak now. The standards. Proverbs chapter one verse three. Receive instructions in wise dealings, and the discipline of wise thoughtfulness, righteousness, justice, and integrity. Hallelujah. That is when we work in integrity. It is for us in integrity. It is for us to receive instructions. It is for us to receive instructions in wise dealings. In whatever we do. And what we call and the discipline of wise thought, thoughtfulness. In the discipline, in 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 gedachten. Hallelujah. That is, if we obey the commandments of God and keep the ordinance of God, and the ordinances be held, then we receive ons ontvang of ons kry righteousness, justice, and integrity. And why do we receive this? When our standards are based on the word of God, wanneer onze standaarden gebaseerd is op die woord, for us to know, for us op de wiet of de kind, descend in de onderscheid and receive in de ontvang righteousness, justice, integrity, rechtvaardigheid to apply in our daily life. Hallelujah. These things we need righteousness, we need integrity, and onze integriteit nodig. Justice for us to be able to apply it in our daily life. For us, on the top of the pass in our daily life. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? Those around us. Anyone around us. 
enige persoon rondom ons. They do not learn from what we are saying. Hulle leer nie van They ons learn sê. from what we are doing. Hulle leer van wat ons doen. So as a Christian, so we a need Christen, to be we need to live an exemplary life. Ons moet 'n voorbeelde gedeelte hê. Because they are watching. Omdat hulle uh, na ons toe kyk. They are observing what we are doing. Hulle kyk na ons wat ons doen. If my actions doesn't match my 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 talking as me uh, then it's in vain as is tegen met die woorde nie even the children Hele themselves de they are observing hulle kyk they can see hulle kan sien but this one she says this hierdie ene sê hierdie but when she turns around maar wanneer sy omdraai dan omdraai, is something else dan doen sy iets anders hallelujah amen so the world is looking upon what we are doing die they are observing what we are and they are doen. learning from that en not from nie, what we are saying nie, nie, even nie, myself i can stand here and preach about integrity ek but if my lifestyle does not match up to what i'm preaching then nie, it's in vain i will not uh, do an impact on anyone's life ek sal nie, uh, and that nie, is nie. what god wants Dit is wat God wil hê. Our lifestyles. Onse lewens. Must match. Dit moet what we are what we are speaking. Met wat ons. He praat. wants us to walk in integrity. Hy wil ons moet in integriteit wandel. As believers. As geloviges. We need to start walking in this world where there is no integrity. Where there is ons no trust anymore. We need wereld. to walk in integrity. Ons moet in integriteit wandel. Because we are Omdat peculiar. Ons Omdat ons we have been chosen. Ons is uitge- uitverkies. So others must see this light in us. So ander moet we hier in ons gaan sien. To the patterns of this world. Ons kan nie volgens die standaarde van die wêreld. We need to stand out from where you are. At your workplace, they need to see. There is something about this sister. There is something about this mother. Then I so desire. What is this my mother? What is this my pastor? That you have what is this my pastor? 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 That is the lifestyle that we are going to live. And that is what God wants us that is how God wants us to live. It is who God will have us to live. Integrity. Integrity. And in truth and wahrheit. Let what you say that that what you say reflect what you are doing. Reflect clear reflect clear. Because you can talk as much as you want. You can talk. But your your words but your words if they do not match up then it's in vain. It is the forgiveness. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now David Psalms 115 verse 1. Ah, Psalms 15 verse 1, sorry. Verse 1 of 15 verse 1. Here is David. Here is David. He asked. He asked. Lord, who shall dwell visa uh uh for to in your tabernacle? Amen. Who shall dwell in your tabernacle? We shall play in your tabernacle. Who shall dwell on your holy hill? We shall play on your holy berg. David is asking. David. My pra- God. My God. Who wie, is eligible? We is waardig. To stay in your tabernacle. Om te play in your tabernacle. Let's say this tabernacle as the secret place of God. As the presence of God, God. God. He, he is God. asking, fra, Lord, Jere, who is able to stay in your presence? On the play in the, who to, may come boldly to your throne? We can who may come kom. boldly into your presence? We can na who is able to, uh, to, to receive we is in or benefit from, from your presence? Of, um, David is asking, Lord, fra, tell me, Jere, Who is eligible? Wie is waardig? To be in your presence. Om in die teenwoord te Because he knows what weet. the presence of God entails. Wat die he knows God what how it is when you are in the presence of Hy God. Wat hoe dit is as jy in die teenwoordigheid van God is. Because in presence of God, wat in die teenwoordigheid van God. There is spiritual growth. Daar is geestelike groei. There is divine rest. Daar is goddelike ris. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sin. It brings joy into it your life. Play, play in your life. It, it removes insecure thoughts. It verwijder al die uh, gedagtes. It brings up those desires to please God. It brings up those desires to please God. It brings up those desires to fulfill your destiny. Om jou, uh, Divine protection. Godelike Divine healing. Godelike Divine power. Maturity, kracht. stability. 
For all these made, things are in the presence of God. For those ones God. that dwell in His presence. All those things are in His presence. So David is asking, who is eligible? Who is who Warte. may abide in your presence? Who may enter your 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 your, your holies of the holies, Lord? But who may enter into gaan. your presence? Wie kan ingaan, who may benefit from all this? Wie kan trek daaruit? That is what David is asking. Is what David Look at what he answers. Look kijk, at the answer. Kijk naar die antwoord. Verse two. Verse two. He who walks with integrity. Hij wat oprecht wandel. In strength of character. In 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 kracht van karakter. Who works righteousness and justice. Wat uh, rechtvaardig en waardig wandel. And speaks and thinks the truth in his heart. Wat in zijn hart met waarheid spreekt. He who walks with integrity. Hij wat wandel met integriteit. Oprechtheid. If, if God was so unjust, unjust. As God so unrechtfertig was. He says. Say, only for only those ones. That slis, work in integrity. Slis, 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 in integrity may benefit. With all these dele. things from my presence. All but dele. being in my presence. Hallelujah. Om in my dele 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 dele. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what is asked. Is what now let's see integrity. Come on, skip now, integrity. What exactly is integrity? What is uprightness? Integrity. When we talk about integrity, he who works in integrity, when he says, he who works in integrity, let's define that one. How do we know what are the characteristics of someone who works in integrity? It is someone who keeps promises. Is iemand wat beloofd is hoop. You make a promise. Je maakt een belofte. And you fulfill it. En je vervult het. If you are unable to fulfill it, as je in you go back to that person. Je gaat terug naar die persoon. And you tell that person, my sister, I thought I would, I was able to fulfill it, but unfortunately, maar on, 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 ongelukkig. Because of unforeseen reasons. As I am unable to un uh, fulfill my promise. Uh, that is the person with integrity. Is the person with integrity. He who keeps promises. He who keeps secrets. You know praat. this world, world has become an epicenter. Or should I say, people are so afraid to talk about their feelings anymore. Because there is no one who is able to keep a secret. Because a friend of a friend is a friend of a friend. A friend of a friend is a friend of a friend. A friend, of a friend. I tell my friend this. Later on, I will hear it from someone else. Because my friend is a friend to Sister Paulina. And Sister Paulina is a friend to Sister Paulina. That is what we, what the world has become. But we as believers, we need to work in integrity. For people to be able to come to us. Because people are looking around. There are so many suicides. Just because people do not speak up. They, they are looking around who to talk to. Because they think if I say this thing, if I have to speak this thing, then I know I will hear it from somewhere else. If I tell someone, I am HIV positive, I know that someone else will hear it and the other one will hear it. So let me rather take it in and suffer in silence. En, en, en lei ben ik maar. But where are we? Maar, maar waar is ons? As we supposed to work in integrity. Is ons niet om stil om in integriteit oprechtheid te wandelen. Because everyone is distressed. Omdat allemaal They want to talk to someone. Hulle wil met iemand praat. They can't even come close to you. Hulle kan nie ook naar bij jou kom nie. They have so many doubts. Hulle het so veel twyfel. Because the integrity Omdat die is not there. Oprechtheid het. And later is on. Later, this person just keeps those things. Because hele, most of them, van hele, we are fortunate ons is gelukkig, that we still hear the word of God. That ons nog die and woord we van hear God that woord. God gives you rest. And, and He will take your burdens. And He heals your last the broken heart. But what about my neighbor what who does not have man? this knowledge? Where will he go? If, if me, 
as as act. Who is supposed to work in integrity? But it operates. It's not available. It's it's that's where people tend to commit suicide. Va, they just become the best self multiplier. And where are we? In various homes. Where are we? In various homes. Hallelujah. Amen. It is some. It's not letting others to take the blame. You see, um, uh, even honest to blame here, the blame. You do something, you do and you know that you know you can, that, that you it can. was you who did that thing. That you ever did but still, no states. Just because you are someone who can talk your uh, talk your way out of a situation, you will speak your way out of it. Even at our workplaces, you will speak your way out of it. And the poor person, and the Arab person, who is not um talkative, talkative, will take the fall. And you will not even stand up and say, "No, it was me." Just because you were not caught. The only time that we admit is only because we were caught. You would rather someone else take the fall for it. That is not working in, 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 in integrity. You let someone else take the fall while you know in your heart that it was you. Doing good with ex without expecting a reward. Helping someone without uh, expecting something in return. That is integrity. And these are the things that we grew up with. But we lost it along the way. Repaying our debts. Paying our tax. Paying our bills. Hallelujah. We tend to point fingers to Fish Road and to the government officials. That is what we are doing. Yeah, this we government do. is so corrupt. Is so corrupt. But you yourself, are you paying your rent at time? Uh, for that person to be able to pay the municipality. For the municipality, for the the municipality to be able to pay its tax. For the teachers to get their money or the police to get their money. The for, the for the health services to at least purchase an ambulance. Are we doing that? Do not that? Are we bringing our part? Or are we just pointing fingers? Simple things that we think are. These are just. Uh, but those things, this uh, is this, nothing. Yeah, this is next me. We just say, ah, okay. It's say, just simple things. Yeah, it's them, for the those ones that are sitting on top. Yes. Yeah. They are doing their things. But, but you should thing. also bring your part. But you should also bring your part. You, when you want money, you, you come them. to your brother you with, with a good, good heart. Oh, and I'm telling you, when we want to borrow money from someone, you you are such a nice, we are the nicest people, the sweetest people, my dear, and this and that and that. But when it comes to repaying back, that, then you become enemies. Is that someone who is working with integrity? Why do we have to live the same standard as those ones that are in the world? Let that not be found in us. Let's work in integrity. Hallelujah. Amen. Being polite even when someone is rude to you. We as... Uh, um, polite um, half the years. Yeah, has, half. Half the years yeah. Being polite even if someone is rude to you. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yes, half, even, uh, I know most of us, most of the things that we are talking about here, we lack some of them. We lack most of them. Yo, in this time, Come to me and come and disrespect me. Who do you think you are? You have the audacity to come to me and come and tell me this and that. Am I your garbage bin? Me as a child of God. 
ek as kind van God. I will tell you that. Ek sal jou dit sê. My sister, you have the audacity to come to me and talk to me that way. Who do you think you are? What happened to my integrity? Wat het gebeur met die integriteit? Wie is gasri? If someone is rude to you. Of wanneer iemand ook onbeskoffe. Because we ought to know the first scripture said. Die eerste skrif gedeelde sê. Working in integrity is for us to know to descend. We need to descend. That is the reason why we are sitting in the church. That is the reason why God has chosen us. If you do not have a spirit of descent, the reason why we need to descend is because it is difficult when someone is coming to you in an unruly manner and if you cannot descend the place that that person is coming from you will also act up that's why as a believer we need to be able to descend the, even the spirit behind that person Jesus said unto Peter he said to the to the to the to, the, to Satan Get behind me, Satan. Peter was the one who was talking. But God immediately rebuked the devil. Because he descended that this is not Peter. That is what is meant. Being polite. While other person is being rude to you. Because it's our given gift. To be able to descend what the driving force is behind this person's behavior. We cannot be the same with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Admitting you made a mistake. Yes, we talked about that. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. Vertel alle die waarheid. I know truth hurts. They say yes. But they say truth hurts outside. But we say truth set us free. We believers say the truth sets you free. Once you tell the truth, you are set free. You do not have to look behind your back, your shoulders. Because when you tell a lie, my dear, it's a burden for you to carry. Because sometimes you do not even know what you told that person. You tend to forget. It's a burden. You know you 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 gave this story to this person, and then you forget because it's a lie. You forget, and then you will come to that same person, and then you will go and. Yeah. The truth will set you free. The person that you hurt. That's why they say, "Hurt me with the truth." Make me see it with the truth. Yes. And I will be free. 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 And I will be you will say it exactly the way it was. You do not have to think back and say, uh -uh, what did I say before? Let truth set us free. That is to work in integrity. That is someone who has integrity. Working hard at work, school, church, that is also integrity. You are not being paid to sit around on your phone. That's why we said it's who you are when no one is looking at you. Your boss may not be there where you are sitting or at your workplace. Apostle is not here when we are worshipping, when we are praying. So, you think no, you can you. come in. You can end come. You can just do one, two, three. In two, three. And then you are out. And then you eat. That is not integrity. That, that is not working in integrity. You sit the whole day on your phone at work. 
He said me the yele, uh, me the phone that is not the way you walk into in 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 um in integrity. Did they see you in that video? Because that is not what you are being paid for. Did they see? But what you sit the, the whole day and you talk, you talk, you talk with your he friends. He said the yele dah and you prat and prat and prat. And later on you blame the teacher. And then after that blame me on the teacher. But what about you? My wife and you. You are going to school to learn. You are going to school to study. You are going to work to go and do your work. Because that is what you are paid for. Once, uh, Prophet Magadiwa said, if one of my children comes, um, comes and report to me, apparently there was this child, one of, one of his spiritual uh, children, of child, she was at work, she was with the and she was found praying. She was found the way she bed. And she was dismissed. Dismissed. She was fired. Now, do you think it was fair? I think it was referred. Do you think it was fair? I think it was referred. for the employer to chase her. For the worker on her way to yeah. Was it was was it not? Uh, do you think it was fair? I think it was, was it referred. Some of us will say, some of us will say, but she's praying to God. But she is bed, God. It's a God. prayer. It's a gebed. No. Yeah. You are going to work to work. You can't bear to work. That bear. is what your employer is paying you for. Yes. You are not going there to pray. You are not going there to pray. You are not going there to pray. You are going there to work. You are going there to work. You are going there to work. So the the employer had the full right die, uh, to dismiss that, um, that employee. The employer had the full right to dismiss that because the, he is not praying, uh, he is not paying her for uh, to to pray. I'm not uh, condoning for you to pray wherever you are. That's why you must come to a state. That's why by a state you would go. That you need to, uh, um, that you can also pray while you are working. That you can bet the way you work. Your spirit men, you, you must train your like spirit men, men to uh, even like pray while you are busy. That cannot bet the way you work. While you are typing, the way you check. You are sitting there and you are praying in your spirit. You bet in your spirit. That is what you train your spirit men to do. It is, but you, uh, not to open. sit there and pray. La ba she tele re bo shoto han da la la. Nee. Ah ah. Boss, I'm first praying. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm praying now. No. no, you are stealing the company's time. He is still and he has every thing. right to dismiss her. Yeah, he, he falls the right of heart. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Give, credit Give credit, credit where it is due. Um, uh, credit here. Most of us have a difficulty with that. Uh, Just to tell someone. Um, I'm to say, my my dear Delila. My dear Delila. Your prayers lifted me this morning. Your gebeden set me gelig vanochtend. I know it's not her doing it. It is a good to see say what they do. But it's her diligence. It is her. Uh, she availed herself. Say it herself, but she kept her still. Hallelujah. Yeah. My dear Delila. My dear Delila. Thank you for availing yourself. That you yourself, but she kept her still. For God to use you. For God om jou te gebruik. It has elevated me. Did it, me it has elevated my spirit. Did it me Give opgelegd. credit where it is due. Uh, my sister, it is my good sister. to have you. My sister, this. You look so beautiful. It is so you will mooi. not lose anything. Next but all we do, all we is. only look at the flaws. Ons kijk net naar die fouten. Yeah. Dikken Delila. Yeah, she talks too much when she's so leading the service. So you missed. Did you miss that part? Where the spirit of God, where she allowed herself for the spirit of God to move through her. Huh? Mostly we look at the flaws of that person. And we miss the good that is in this person. And we miss the good that is in this person. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of focusing on what is good. And to give credit where it is due. And to give credit where it is due. And to give credit where it is due. We just look for the flaws. Working in integrity means that you must give credit where it is due. And to give credit where it is due. And to give credit where it is due. And to give credit where it is due. And giving others the benefit of the doubt. And others. 
There is, al there is always a reason why someone is doing something. The person doesn't just stand up and do something. There is always a reason. But if you are someone who is working in, in, in integrity, you will want to know the reason why that person did that. Not just to fall in with the door. Yeah, why didn't you do this? Yeah, why didn't you, why is the windows not clean? Give the person the benefit of the doubt. Even if you know, ah, what you say, no, it's not true. Yeah. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Let him explain himself. So, and then you can go in and, then, and say, but and I gave say, you this much time. You were so supposed to finish this in that time. time. You must have done it and irritate. Amen. 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 Give a person the benefit of the doubt. I know this person must have done it a thousand times. But this time around, for you, for you to walk in integrity, for you, in start giving the, the person the benefit of the doubt. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That is to walk in integrity. It is on the and, and then it says, in that sentence, in strength of character. The uh, strength of the character. Character. The character. Is doing what is right. Is on the do what is right. Because it is right. On that the right is. And how you deal with things. And who you may think you do. You do things because it is right. You do think on that the right is. You do what is right because it is right. But right is on that the right is. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if all the others are not doing it. I hope all the others are doing it. Do it. Do that. Because it is right. Amen. Amen. We cannot flow. We cannot go with the flow. That is the word. We go with the flow. But you know that it is wrong. Even if you are the only one going this direction. Do it. Because it is right. Don't do it because everyone else is doing it. That's why it is said that we are peculiar people. We are the chosen ones, the royal priesthood. We, we are not the same with the others. Even if I'm the only one. To stand up and say no, I that is it, wrong. It, it is what would say, near. It's doing it. It is on the do. Because that is the right thing to do. But it is the right thing on the do. Not compromising. Yeah, on the compromise. Ah, no, I don't want people to look at me awkwardly. Yeah, it really hurt. You are not. You are not the same with everyone else. Yeah, it is you are unique. Yeah, it is unique. Hallelujah. Amen. And God has chosen you for a purpose. And God has you for, a for, a doom. for you to stand for the truth. For you to stand for, for, to stand for what is right. For you to stand for what is Hallelujah. Amen. That is to work in integrity. And that is what is meant with this. It is on the bundle and the operating. He who works with integrity and, and strength of character. And, and if you crafting. work in integrity, all those things that I mentioned, and if you work in the strength of character, doing what is right, then you may be able, then you may be able he can and start this. to benefit from the presence of God. Oh. For the Hallelujah. Now there's a man. There's a man. There's a man. Let me take from an example. Come and a photo. Let's read Genesis chapter twenty. Come on, let's read Genesis twenty. Genesis chapter twenty, verse five to six. Now here, it's Abraham. We are quite familiar with this scripture, right? And we all know what happened there. Abraham. Abraham. He came to Abimelech. Okay. The king now, the yeah. king of Gera. He had come to the king of Gera. And because he thought that these people were not God fearing, that they might kill him, because he had seen that they might kill him, because he had, because he had, he had such a beautiful wife. So they will kill him so, and take her from him. And kill him. So, he had to tell a lie. Because he had to tell him. In fact, it's not a lie. Because he had to tell him. 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 Because he
Uh, they just okay, Ali and me and and very like it. Sarah. Sarah. Truly was his uh, um half sister. Yes. Say was half. Say half sister. But the intent that he did, uh, the intent of the heart. The 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 be be doing from the heart. But that is something else now. Yes, yes, no. We are not talking about Abraham. I was talking about Abraham. Let's talk about the king himself. I was talking about the king himself. So the king was told. So the king was told. She is my sister. Uh, say is my sister. And he took her. He that the fact that evening now. Uh, he that he am for her. He took her to his chambers, or what do you call? Yeah, he that the fact now, now say cameras, now his chambers. And the Lord came to him. And he heard now who come. And he said. And he that say. You are a dead man. He came to him in, hey, in the hey, dream. Hey, hey, don't. Any drum on Buddha it is saying. And he said, You are a dead man. Yes, I do a man, bruh. You are a dead man. Yes, I do a man. Because you took a, a, a wife of someone else. Yet a frog from Iman Khefat. Imagine. Her billion. God coming to you. God come now you do. Now it uh, it says that these people. So he didn't say. There were people that were not God fearing. Hello, was he God fearing? And maybe this was even the first time and that God spoke and spoke to, to him. him that and just imagine. Brand. Hearing the voice of God, and the first time that you are hearing him, he's telling you you are a dead man. Yeah, he's a doer man, bruh. Yo, bruh. You are a dead man. Yeah, he's a doer man. Because you took the wife of another man. Yeah, the fruit from another man's heart. And he's like, but Lord. What here? Chapter five. He says, Did not the man tell me she is my sister? And she herself said, "He is my brother." In integrity and of heart, upright from the heart, and innocency of hands, and on scale of heart, I have done this. I did not know. I did not know. Abraham told me it's his sister. Abraham had me said, "It's his sister." And Sarah herself, she told me that it's her brother. And Sarah herself had said, "But out of the integrity of my heart." And the innocence, I did this God. And listen to what God says. And listen to what God says. Then God said to him, in the dream. And God had any dream, and I'm going to say. Yes, I know you did this in the integrity of your heart. I will get it any old skill from your heart. Integrity of the heart. Out of the goodness of your heart. Out of the truth. Because I know your heart. I get your heart. Yes, I know. You did this in the integrity of your heart. I will get it in the old skill from your heart. And listen what he what he says. And listen what he says. For it was I that was I who kept you back. I get you drunk at home and spared you from sinning against me. Um um um. So that you need to make a son of me. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, I did not give you occasion to touch him. Darum werde ich nicht die Gelegenheit geben, um ihn anzuhalten. Because of the integrity of his heart. Because he was a man with integrity. God spared him. God protected him. Which means, if you are not working in integrity, there is punishment. And there was already a punishment availed. There was already a punishment set forth in motion. If he was not a man of integrity, that punishment would have just come down already. So open, open, because it was already in motion. But God knew that this man was a man who was working in integrity. That's why he kept him. That's why he protected him. That is what integrity does. When you work in integrity, God protects you. God so what is to happen to you? He becomes your you. shield. You will not scared. fall. You will not, will not stumble. He protects you. He protects you from even doing what is wrong. He will oh, come to you, but, but that is. and the Spirit of God will speak to you, and He will say, "Don't do that." But many at times we tend to ignore that. Why are you ignoring us? That is the. Protect those ones that works in integrity. That's why he said, "Who may walk, who may dwell in his presence?" The one that works in integrity. So God protected this man from sinning because He knew the heart of this man. Omdat hij die hart van die man gekend het. Was upright. Hij was oprecht geweest. So know this. 
When you Ojo walk te. in integrity, when you try to do all those things, it's Vanyan not easy. Abhi, but as a child of God, there is a reward. God is saying, if you walk in integrity, if you tell the truth at all times, if you show mercy unto others, if you do the work as you must do it, if you do what is right because it is right, I will protect you. You will not stumble. That is what God is saying. And that is what he did with this man. Because there was a punishment laid before him. We are fighting battles that we do not know of. From people we do not know. But if you walk in integrity, God says that he is going to protect you. Do not worry. As long as you do what is right, so long as we do what I will be your shield. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Work in integrity. Even at your workplace, they can see. She's a snitch. Say, say. She's the black sheep. Yeah, yeah. say it's a what? Say it's the black sheep. Say it's all it. Say it's the best we give for the for the bus. Say it's the best we give for the bus. At school. At baby school. Just doing what is right. Yeah, do not God says. Right. If you do what is right, as he do what right, out of the integrity of your heart, as he is going to protect you, you. and no harm will come to you. You will not stumble, you will not fall. No matter how hard it is, just say the truth as it is. Do not compromise. He spare him from the punishment that was about to come upon the whole nation. He kept him from sinning. God will keep you from sinning. Before you even fall into that temptation. God is going to keep you from sinning. Because he keeps, he protects the one that works in integrity. Hallelujah. Why am I saying that the punishment was already there? Uh, in chapter 17. In chapter 17. Was 17 and 18. So Abraham prayed to God. So Abraham, I thought God prepared. God healed Abimelech and his wife and his female slaves, and they bore children. For the Lord had closed fast the wombs of all in Abimelech's household because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Do you see? So the punishment so was straf, already hanging upon them. It says. God had closed fast. 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 He had closed already. He was just waiting to see is he going to do what is right in the midst of these desires that is feeling for this woman. Will he be able to resist will he work in integrity? Will he tell the truth? Will he tell the truth? Because the punishment is already hanging. The, the so immediately, when the man walked in integrity, when he stood up in the uprightness of his heart, and when Abraham prayed, immediately God healed Abimelech and his wife. Because immediately, when he took that wife, the wife of Abraham, he closed her womb. Of his wife now. And not only his wife, but of all the females of Abimelech's household. So, meaning, if Abimelech was not a man of integrity, no women in his uh, uh, household could have got children. So can us create me. Hallelujah. Amen. But Abraham prayed. But Abraham had prayed. And God immediately opened the womb. And God immediately had the womb. And they started opened. getting children. And they began to have children. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, Proverbs chapter ten, verse nine. Only the B part. We said. What did we say? Mm -hmm. We said, it's okay. We said that integrity, the lack of integrity, you should know it's punishable. There is punishment waiting on it if you do not work in integrity. 
It says, but he who takes a crooked way will be discovered and punished. So this man could have taken the crooked way and God would have punished all the women so of his household. God would have closed the wombs of those people, of, of those females. All die vrouwen ze waar waar moeten ze toegemaakt. So mean, so it means so if betekent, there is a lack of integrity. So as daar uh, de kort aan in de gebeurtenis. There is a punishment. Hallelujah. Daar is een straf. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because this punishment, die it will be straf, discovered. So on that board. It doesn't matter that is how a, you hide it. Who you did better. It doesn't matter. How you put it aside there, what you feel inside, what you can cover it up, but it will be discovered you can get very much. and you will be punished. It will be discovered. It will be discovered. It will be put on light. Maybe for you, it will be a shame for you to take a crooked path, for you, for you to be dishonest. For your own, own, own. Yours will be, the whole world will know what type of a person you are. What is what type of person he is going to expose you. He said you can blood still on Alice. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it says it will be discovered. Well, they said that's and you will be punished. And you have a if you are a husband, As a man if is, you are someone with cheating, As a man is cheating you, you must know you that initially. initially uh, it, it will be discovered. It's all on deck board. It will be exposed. It's all the, the exposed board. For everyone to see. It's all any left comes so that and the punishment will be. And the you will lose you. everything that you had. Yes, if you are a worker at workplace. Ah, uh, worker be reversed. And like, you steal something. You steal it. Eventually, it will it will be revealed. That's all on deck board. That's all. And you might even board. lose your work. Yes, all of you work. For so that small thing. But I clean the key. Nothing stays hidden. Next is for Borgeni. It will be exposed. That's how Eddie your lies, your liens, your planning, your, your devious planning, ways. Your crooked. It fire. says it will be discovered and it that's will. How, that's how on that and word. you will be punished for it. And Jesus will be punished for Hallelujah. Amen. Now tell me. You can tell me. After hearing this. The question is. The question is. How much value do you place on your integrity? Hoeveel waarde hecht je aan jouw oprechtheid? Vraag jezelf. The value that you place on your integrity. Die die waarde wat je hecht aan jouw oprechtheid. Hallelujah. You are washing. It's an example now. You are washing your husband's clothes. Je was je manse kleren. You find the twenty dollars. In the pocket. Je 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 krijgt twintig dollars. You decided I'm going to keep this twenty dollars. Je besluit ik zal die twintig. Is that what your integrity is worth? Is it is it what you in the criteria of oprechtheid waarde waarde is? Is that what your integrity is worth? Is it what you in oprechtheid waarde is? You come to someone. Je komt naar iemand. And you lie to that person. En je liegt voor die persoon. My sister. My sister. I do not have food at home. Je kunt niet koos bedesten. Please, I need a fifty dollars. Je kunt vijf dollar niet. Well, you know, you have it. Dan wil je weet. Is your integrity integrity worth that food? Is your integrity worth that fifty dollars? Waar waar de vrij vijf dag dollar? Halleluja. You are at a party. Yes, we are. You are at a workplace. Yes, we are at a workplace. You are with your colleagues. Ja, yes, met je collega's. They all say. No, we did not find the memo. Well, the memo was sent through, and it was it was said. It was said. Knock off time is one o'clock. And all your colleagues said, no. Let's say we did not find the memo because this time it did not came to each and everyone. It came via the secretary, and she went home already. So let's go home at twelve. Is your integrity worth that hour? Worth that hour? Is your integrity worth the price? How much value do you place on your integrity? How much value do you place on your integrity? Hallelujah. Your integrity in price. In price. Is it is it worth the lie that you are telling? Is it worth the lie that you have told? Is it worth the thought that you are thinking? Is it worth the thoughts that you have? Is it worth the I that you just said? 
Is it waardig dit wat jy nog gesê? Is dit wat jou integriteit oprecht en waardig is? What is your integrity worth? Uh, hoe, hoeveel is jou integriteit waardig? Halleluja. Amen. Now, there are blessings in living in integrity. Daar is sieninge as jy oprecht lewe. Proverbs chapter 10, uh, the, the part A now, 10 verse 9. Proverbs 10 vers 9. The same scripture. Die selfde skrif. The blessings for living in integrity. Die sieninge om in uh, oprechtheid te lewe. He who works in integrity and moral character works securely. Amen. That is one blessing. Is een we gain security for ourselves. Ons kry, uh, veiligheid vir we gain that security as we said. Ons the way that, that God protected the, uh, protected the um, king Die manier hoe God hy koning Abimelech We gain that security. Ons kry daar die veiligheid. We gain that protection. Ons kry daar die uh, beskerming. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 7. Spreke 2 vers 7. Only the B part now. 2 verse 7. Hmm. He is a shield to those who work uprightly and in integrity. That is what Proverbs 2 verse 7 says. We gain security ons, as we receive God's protection, as we said. Ons Godse beskerming, soos ons gesed. He is a shield to those who work uprightly and in integrity. He becomes our protector. Hy word you ons get beskerming. that protection. Ons beskerming. First Kings chapter yes, 9 yes, verse 4 to seven. Yes, a koning, was the nege. Now this was a covenant it was a that's with Solomon was a because with his Solomon. father David, oh, father David worked in integrity with God. In so God, God made a covenant so God had a, a with Solomon because Solomon. of his father. Der wille van sy father. And if you will walk before me as David your father walked in integrity of heart and mm. uprightness, doing according to all that I have commanded you, keeping my statutes and my precepts. Then I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever, as I promised David your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man upon the throne of Israel. This was a covenant that God was making with Solomon because of his father. Because his father was working in... This is, this is a security ne? This a for our future this generations. This a, uh, you only, you only do not people. gain security for yourself. You, you also gain security. for your future generation. For your yeah, children yeah. and for your children's children. For your goodness, goodness, goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you, the mother or the father, is working in, in integrity, your children and your children's children you will goodness, also goodness. gain security yeah. from God. Failed. So this is a covenant that God made with Solomon because of his father David who As worked in integrity. David, in Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe we must... Uh, for us, yeah, let me fi uh, finish six and seven, then we can also read it in Afrikaans. Because it is very important what we do now, we are doing it for our children. We are opening doors for our children and for their children's children. We are creating a new era. So we want, we, you do not, if you walk in integrity, you do not only secure your own future, you also secure your children and your children's children's future. So as he but if you, now he says, but if you turn away from following me, but as he, uh, weg draai, you or your children, and your kinders, and will not keep my commandments, and, and my and my statues, which I statues. have set before you, but, before you said, but go and save other gods and worship them. Then I will cut off Israel from the Israel. land I have given them. Me, and this the house, I have, I have hollowed my name. And and this house, I, have my name. I will cast from my sight and, and, 
Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all the people. And Israel shall spoken. Now he is making a covenant. No matter how far gone. With, Sir, uh, with Solomon, yes, Solomon, because of his father's integrity, As a father's because David operating. was a man of integrity, David now he's making a, a covenant with operating. David's son, no which is the next David's generation, and he is saying, said, I will keep my covenant with you, and with your children, your and children, I will protect you, and you as them. long as you keep my um my commandments as long as so you long obey as my commandments and, and keep and my ordinances just as I was saying so as, as we say, grew up so we grew so up so with these ethics and morals and, and these and things morals. protected us and then so it is time for us to go uh, for us to work into integrity the and teach and our and children these morals and ethics so that their children's children and their children's children so that may be protected. Protected. Hallelujah. And get that security. And Can we read it place. in Afrikaans? As jelle and jelle kinders ooit van my afvallen hoort en my geboeie, my inzettinge, wat ek jelle voorgehoed, nie onderhoud nie, maar ander goede gaan dien, and for the nearby, then shall I Israel in the land I drew, what I have given, and the house what I for my name geheiligd, shall I from my angesicht ver wegwerp, so that Israel a spreek word and a sportlied shall word under all the folk. So don't think. So many them. If you do not children teach your children now, as you know, you cannot know and if you are not someone who is working in integrity right and now, as he, oh, don't as as think. Oh, and and our integrity, we said, and also in the it's based on the standard, the standard of the word of God. If we do not teach word, our children as as to obey the commandments of God, um, God and to keep the ordinances of God, and on the ordinances of God God's God. protection will, will not go with them. God's the security that he is giving unto us will not go over to your children. But for you to, if you work in integrity, God's security will go over to your children. And your children's children. And your children's children. Hallelujah. Amen. So just next scripture. Ah, next one. I'm done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you learned something. Amen. Because integrity is a very vital part of our yes. lives. Hallelujah. Amen. As Christians, we need to work Amen. in integrity. Yes. Hallelujah. We need to you we uh, we need to stand out. Awesome. We cannot you cannot be amongst people and not stand out. You can eat this in the in because stand. our standards differ. Our doctrines differ. We have been chosen. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. There is another blessing. There is another blessing. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. Proverbs uh, 20, verse 7. You gain blessings for your children. Just by working into integrity. You gain blessings for your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The righteous man who works in integrity and lives in li lives life in accord with his godly beliefs. Highlight that godly beliefs. If you work according to your godly beliefs, As you wandel, volgens your godly how blessed and spiritually secure who are his children him. after him, who have his example to follow. No, Hallelujah. Say, to Amen. He, if you work in integrity, As you wandel, and, operate it. and live lives in accord with his godly beliefs, and live, live, uh, According to the word of God, God, the word of God is, he says, he how said, blessed, how gesien, happy and secure gelukkig and are his children sal kinders, nie wees, after him now, who have his example uh, because our little ones said, are following our examples. And also claim so they will forbid. be happy, they will be blessed and, and they will be spiritually secure. 
That is what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. Now for tips for developing integrity. I know that we along the way so, Lansipat, by compromising here on the compromise. We may have lost our integrity. But God is calling us to us this morning. And he is telling us, I want you to start developing your integrity. I want you to stand out. I want you to be a city upon the hill that shines forth the light to attract everyone who needs help. But help no I want you to be the beacon upon which everyone can look up to. While you are there, my people are perishing. I want your colleague to be able to come to you and confide in you. I want the little children to follow your example. I want your colleagues to come to know me that I am a true living God. I want you as my children to walk in integrity, to walk as peculiar people, as the chosen, chosen generation, because, because I have chosen you. You did not choose me, but, but I chose you. I called you on your name for you to be my For you to be my ambassador. For you, for you to come and represent me. So to this morning, God is appealing to us for us to gain back our integrity to stand for what is right. Even if you are the only one that is standing, do it for God because he says you will not stumble. And he say, he I will be on. your shield. And not only you. Net, I you. will be your shield. I will be the shield to your children. I will kinders. contend against those ones that are contending against us. Me me Can you stray? Yeah. That is what God is saying. Yes, what God said. Rise up. Stand up. Rise up and start working in integrity. Stand up and wander and operate. As my children. As work in integrity. And that is what God is calling us. Is what God for us for Those days. are the tips there, there is on it. how to develop your integrity. Who on your the integrity that, that we have lost the integrity through compromises that we made. There, uh, compromise that we made. Examine your own morals and ethics. Revisit your morals and, morals and your ethics. Uh, what your you ethics. see as, as right. What you see as right. Hallelujah. Amen. The principles of how you are ought to behave. The rules. And what for, you see for, that is right. Wandel, yeah. Stand up for what is right and what you believe in. Stand up for that what you where you glow and what right is. Keep your agreements. Oh, yes. Behold your. Uh, uh, Surround yourself with people with integrity. Make clear decisions. Make clear decisions. Make decisions that you are able to follow. Say like, you have to choose between a stressful work uh, of you kiss this in a stressful work. You choose a stressful work. You kiss a stressful work. To be able to provide for your children. Of your kids to foresee. Or you choose a less stressful work. Of you kiss to spend more time with your stress, children. Stressful work. The decision is yours. Here take me your kids to this. Make clear decisions so for yourself. Like Don't make things difficult for yourself. Don't think for yourself. Make your man. decisions clear. Let that you understand the decisions that you are taking. More. Stay committed to what you believe in. Uh, Be committed in what you believe in. 
Waarin je gelooft. En stay open to change. En en uh, wie is al dit op voor het? Uh, Start for looking others. around your life. Think around on your life. See what you can keep. Think what you can behold. And what to let go. And what you can let go. May God bless His word. Amen. Amen.